All right, so you've had eyes on you, yeah? Yeah. Right. You've had Darren Till. We can kind of go over that one next, but first I want to talk about Top G. Yeah, let's go, Alan. Oh, free take, yeah, free take, come on. <laughs> so what actually happened? Tell me, where was you when he met? When, well, yo, how I, did he contact you? So, I'm a massive fan of him. I love him. I love what he stands for. I love what he says. I hate the fact that people misinterpretate what he's saying. Mm -hmm. See, I've got I've got a very like dark sense of humour. You can't really offend me. Like I am I'm dark as it is, mate. You can say anything. I'm I'm offensive as it is. I'm actually worried. Right, the more f the more mainstream I get, yeah, I'm scared that I'm gonna say something daft because I'll come out with something stupid. But I understand with him that he always got cancelled and stuff for what he says. Right, basically, yeah. Um, my the guy who runs my fight management, Luke Barnett, mm -hmm. he was former former UFC fighter. He's a he's a soundest guy ever, man. I swear down, like like him a lot. In it, he lives. He actually lives in Spain, in Torremolinos. He owns his own gym there. Shout out to Luke Barnett. And shout out to Luke Barnett, man. And um, uh, and Lilius Barnett, his gym, man. Now good guys over there, good gym. Um, basically, he knew that I liked Andrew Tate, and he's he's in the I think he's in the war room with him and that, and like he's. Good friends with him. They fought, funnily enough, they fought years ago. Yeah, funnily enough, I don't, I don't know. I, I knew they fought and that. Like, they're good friends. And um, I always popped up saying, like, I love him. I love his work. And like, I always watch his stuff. I always share his things. I'm, like, I'm just a big Tate fan. And then after I won my fight, um, I got told I got a bit of a surprise coming. I was like, what? 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 Like, I've heard rumors that I could be like, uh, I could one day I could meet him or something like that. Like, just winding me up or whatever. I don't know. And then I, was, I popped up to Luke. And I go, oh, because because of Tate's story again with the Tate. He's like, he's there just smoking cigars and just chilling with him, being a top J. And then he sends me this video. I open it, yeah. I was walking through Holly Edge Park in Ben Shill with me Shaw over there, with, with me, with me uh, personal trainer in the forum. And then he opened it and he goes, looking great, young man. And I was like, what, 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 <laughs> what? And he started talking about it. And I just went, yeah. I ran around the park with my mates like, what? You all right? What's up? What's up? And I'm like... The, the man, the, the main man's just shouting me out, like my favourite guy in the world right now, he just shouted me out, I didn't know what to say, I was like, I didn't sleep, you know, till about 2am, <laughs> I was that gassed, I was like on a high adrenaline, like I just had a fight, I was just gassed man, I was like, no way in there, um, I went viral, I, I posted that on TikTok, okay. do you know how many views I got? 7.5 million views. Fucking, I don't go on TikTok, but yeah, yeah. I'm fucking... I got. I, I, I put my shout Impressive, out on that. Mate. I'm well pretty. I'm, pr I'm pretty famous on TikTok. I got 80k followers on TikTok. I got like a few million views on my knockouts. And um, that one that got the most views because because Andrew Tate, man, he's so viral, bro. That's how I just. That's how I discovered who he was on TikTok. Seen a few of his things. Wanted to know who he was. Learned how he, I learned he did a bit, and I learned like who he is. And I thought this guy's good in it. And I got 7.5 million views on that one. Yeah, I was gassed. Yeah. But. It just means a lot that someone like him, he was watch he watched my fights. He wa he's been watching my fights with Luke and he you know it goes to show that I must be doing something right and someone who I actually kinda like, I, I like I like I look up to in a way, or a successful man. Do you know what I mean? I think that's pretty mint, honestly. I honestly think that admiration is one of the nicest feelings to have as a human. Yeah, definitely. Even Darren Till, man. Yeah. I, I was literally on my way to training on the tram, getting two trams to the gym, like I do, and I seen Darren Till talk about me, and I got a few DM requests, just like people, like little fan, like fans of mine, DMing me saying, um, "Darren Till shouting you out on the UFC London thing." I was like, "What? You mean about?" And then my mate who was at London, Jake Jenks, shout out to Jake Jenks, good guy. He said, "Yeah, Darren Till just shouted you out, mate." I went, "No way." He got me up the Q and A. And he's like, say, yeah, little ginger kid from Manchester. I was like, it can't be over ginger. No, it can't be anybody. And, and, and then, yeah, and it was, it was him. I spoke to him on Instagram. I said, no way, no way. And then, and then I spoke to him a few months ago after my most recent knockout in Bolton. Right. And then, and then he popped up to my one recently in the forum. He popped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Physically, or uh, he commented on my thing, and he put, oh, right, right, he put, right, right. fuck me. And I just commented back <laughs> saying. I can hear that in your Scouts voice, mate. Oh. I can hear that in your Scouts accent. I was so happy. But yeah. Imagine how that feels because he kind of, he's using your energy as motivation. I feel he's, he's struggling right now a little bit, I've heard. You think? Yeah. I, 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 hope, I hope not, man. Because end end, I feel like he's in a, he's at the highest level of fighting. Um, he was going to be 
next big thing, and he still, I still believe he will. I think he's so good, Darren Till. He's not lost his ability. Nah, he hasn't. It's not, you don't lose your ability. He's got his ability. No. And he's fucking... He's got one of the most exciting styles. People love watching him. Fight. I love watching... I look... I, I've i literally sat there and I've mimicked his stuff. When I knocked out JJ Jones for the ISFC title, I was watching Darren Till against Cowboy Sword, Darren Till against... Um, I forgot the guy with the man bun. I forgot his name. He battered him. He spinning, he spinning elbowed him and that. And I, I, I did a knockout. I knocked that guy out. I, yeah, I was like, that's Darren Till. Knockout. I was like, yeah, because I've been watching Darren Till. Okay. So, so it's a bit weird that he... I, I find it mad that he probably likes to watch me. I don't, I don't want to say he probably admires me because... I think he... I, I don't want to say that because no, he's I'm gonna say, I'm, here and I'm here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I'll speak for you. I'm going to say that your energy... We all take each other's energy, don't we? Yeah, of course, of course. Do you know what I mean? When yeah. people, when when the crowd's there chanting your name, they're giving you energy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's giving each other energy. And he's looked, he's definitely looked for some young talent for a bit of, I don't know, maybe motivation or just to keep him, just... I don't know. I do it all the time. I look at loads of people's shit to help me yeah. figure my stuff out. You're saying I like, you know, I'll, I'll say, I go back to this, I love boxing. Yeah. I watch him. I draw how I love watching. Go on. Dennis McCann. Have you heard of him? I've not heard of Dennis. He McCann. ended up following me on Instagram and TikTok, and I was like, no way. I was so happy over that. Like, I, he's because uh, the reason why I love that what Jeremy McCann fight, Dennis McCann fight, is because he's my age, and he's pro. He's like, he's sick, man. He's a slick southpaw, and I love boxing. I have massive boxing fan and. What, I am a big fan of him watching him and then he's there, like he followed me and like he respects my knockouts, coming on my store, following me on, on Instagram and TikTok, I'm like no way. I, I, I think I bounce off his energy a little bit because I look at him or whatever, do you know what I mean? I love McGregor, I watch his... I, oh, I remember that bro, I remember when you had the top one fan. Oh yeah, fan. yeah, 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 I had the top one, didn't I? I had a, I had a man bun man when I was in school, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I had that when McGregor was the man, McGregor was the man.